Okay, it's the next morning. Welcome again to beautiful Lackawanna State Park in Wallsville, Pennsylvania. Anyway, today I'm back out here. I decided to come here rather than my parents' pond, mainly because I have all these large shiners that I don't think will work very well there, and we have bigger fish here. So I refined the rat trap hook setter. It is now a mouse trap hook setter. I've downsized. I think the rat trap is just too uh, powerful. It's too. It needs too much pressure for a regular size fish to uh, set it off. And, all I really want is to catch any size fish on it. So I changed it to a mouse trap. I'll show you that in a second. We've also got three other tip ups running and I'm gonna jig, of course. Okay, so this is it. Same rod I did and I'm using the smaller hook that I had already downgraded to yesterday. I think I'm gonna start with um, a wax worm or just curling a wax worm around this hook and then maybe a fat head later depending on how this works but same idea as what I've showed you before so let's set it and forget it nothing's gonna hang off nothing that they can grab onto there we go it's like a wax worm sock with a teeny tiny bit of hook sticking off so I found a damn near perfect depth right here right at about 10 feet so this is where we're gonna set the mouse trap. And she's set. Okay, it's set precariously, but it's set. It's in a good depth. It's just about six inches above the bottom. Now we wait. Yes. First fish of the day, not skunked. Look at the size of the lure compared to the fish. Ooh, good. There we go, another gilly. I guess maybe I'll bring you guys over with me now. But uh, this, this little guy gets action, we'll just run over and check. And no release. Seed. <coughs> Sorry, you probably had a bad view there. But... Alright. Nice pumpkin seed. I miss pumpkin seeds. I haven't been catching a lot of them. Wrong way. Come on. Come on. Yeah, there you go. I'm not going to do it for you. Something, something very small. Bluegill. Okay, 
downsize clam dangle drop gold color. I think it's a size six hook. Okay guys, got one coming up. Nothing big, probably a bluegill. It's a poich. Alright, three species on the day. Something bigger. Come on. Through the hole. Through the hole. I got him. Yes. Wow. Okay. Nice bass. 20 feet of water. Oh shoot, but okay, I just put my electronic gloves in water. Did you see that save? Wow, what a save. Okay, nice bass. I think it's my second bass of the year. Got a picture. And we got it. There he goes. All right, cool. Okay, I've only got uh, 19 minutes of battery left, so um, I'm going to keep it strictly to catches and tea time. Okay, we're going to go old school today. English breakfast tea. Just a black tea with a distinctive flavor of English breakfast. Bangers and mash. Let's do it. Four to five minutes. Four to five. Fish on, guys. Fish on. Got a little bluegill. Oh, there might be something bigger down there. Go. Get free. All right. Look at that rich reddish brown color. Love that sound. Almost knocked it over. English breakfast tea, here we go. Yeah, this is your very traditional tea, at least I feel like for most uh, Americans and probably British people. It's good, but I think everyone recognizes this flavor. It's a black tea. Good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Nice and bluegill. It's always fun to be catching. Very purple. Oh, I need you to get him in that light. Wow, I got a big picture. only going to be a morning session. I might have an hour left out here, but um, I'm going to wrap it up as far as uh, outros go. So the rat slash mouse trap automatic hook setter project, I feel like it's about as refined as it could be. It definitely works. Maybe I'll trigger it for you guys just, to, just so you can see it. I was limited just by, well, the length of line that I happened to tie on to it, and so I had to keep it in relatively shallow water, in like 10 feet of water, where I've been mostly catching fish in like 15 to 20 feet of water today. So I do feel that if I had uh, put some extra line on there, that we could have uh, we could have got one.
Now I'm starting to think maybe I should just do that right now. But anyway, maybe we will, maybe we won't. Hope you like what you're seeing. Please like and subscribe, and as always, fish like no one's watching. Peace. Alright, just to prove that it will go off. Okay? Maybe a little weak, but just to show you.